AI, so what's Google saying about software development, college, learning to code, all this good stuff? You're going to get the answer in this video. Short answer is Google saying that you should not, you should not go to college to become a developer. That's what Google says. And the reason they're saying that is because they know that it takes only about six, six months to a year maybe to become a developer. You don't need to do a three, four year long program. That's just a waste of time and a waste of money. So let me jump into it. When you are evaluating any program for educational purposes, you have to look at not only the cash you got to outlay and the risk of that outlay. What I'm talking about here is student loans. You never want to get into student loan debt. It's the worst and most evil debt that you, could, that you could possibly get into. You don't want to get into that. Uh, you'd rather owe money to a loan shark than to student loans because student loans are non-dischargeable via bankruptcy. That's a fancy way of saying is that you can never get rid of that debt unless you pay it off. You don't want to be there. You don't want to do that, especially today where information is so freely available Today, you can access highly experienced professionals and get direct training with them without having to incur a huge amount of, you know, a huge cost, whether it be through a $20,000 boot camp or four or $5,000 a year in college or more. You don't want to do that. But there's another cost besides the cash you got to outlay when you are uh, studying at the college level, doing a four-year program. You also have to consider the opportunity cost. So what's opportunity cost? Opportunity cost is the cost of executing on the opportunity. Meaning, in this situation, when you are spending four years studying computer science at the college level, those are four years that you're not making money. Those are four years where you're actually spending money. Whereas if you do a six month, one year code camp, or like me, my mentoring program, people get jobs within six months, uh, or a two year, depending on your schedule. But anyway, let's say you do, we'll say it's one year. You do a one year boot camp versus four years in college. After that one year, if you're trained properly, if the boot camp trains you properly, within a year, you have a job. So now you're making money. Now, the way the development world works is that you really see your salary start to skyrocket with real world experience. Let me dispel a myth out there. You're not going to get a high paying job as a developer because you've done a couple of tutorials online. Because you've done uh, your GitHub, you filled up your GitHub with tutorials that you found on YouTube or some other platform. That's not going to do it. You have to get your foot in the door as quickly as possible and you do that through proper training and you will gain that experience and see your salary quickly rise via work experience. In my program, Shameless Self-Promotion, my goal is to get you as quickly as humanly possible to the point where you can get that entry level job as a coder, as a developer, it almost doesn't matter what type of development you do for that first job. Why? It's that real world experience that's worth so much. It's worth much more than a certification. It's worth much more than a diploma. It's worth everything. So your goal in learning how to code should be to just get enough skill to get that job, to get that foot in the door job. And within a year, year and a half, you'll start seeing your salary skyrocket. Uh, by year two, you'll probably see it really like whew. by year three, four, that's typically when you start seeing like those huge salaries that people talk about in coding. That's when you kind of hit it for the most part. So how does this relate back to a four-year college degree? By year two, you're seeing yourself making pretty good money, if not a lot of money, depending on how you present yourself. It could be quicker if you know what you're doing, but even if you're just the average schmo, Right? Play to the averages, they always say. Why? Because that's average. So let's say you're the average small developer. 
and a uh, small developer gets the job, entry-level job, not making as quite as much as you see uh, necessarily on Indeed.com or other job sites, but you're making decent money. Usually people, by the way, in my experience, when they learn how to code, a lot of people, I see the vast majority will at least increase their salary by 50%, oftentimes double, just getting their foot in the door. And then it gets sweeter and sweeter afterwards. So keep that in mind. So as someone who did not go to college to learn how to code, you decide, you decide to take a boot camp or something, or even self-learn. Within a year or two, you're making very good money. Year three, four, you're making really good money. Meanwhile, your counterpart who went to college, you're not making any money. That three-year spread, perhaps three and a half years, where you're actually making money as a coder and learning like crazy, that has to be considered against somebody who's going to college and they're not making that money. So not only are they spending that money every year that they're in college, they're losing the salary that you're making now because you went the route that Google suggests that you should go. And so do I, by the way. So the last point, I don't know if Google made this point, but this is just a reality. A lot of times, the programs that teach code, they don't teach you properly because a lot of the professors don't have experience as developers. And it kind of makes sense because developers will always, not always, well, most of the time anyway, at least in North America and Europe, developers will make a lot more money than teachers. So if you're a competent developer, unless you've done it for many years and you decide, okay, I'm going to start teaching now because I want to retire, competent developers will be writing code because they'll make double, sometimes triple, sometimes quadruple what a teacher makes, right? So it's, it's hard to get industry-experienced educators to teach you. That's it. That's where mentoring programs like mine, shameless self-promotion, come in. So, in conclusion, four of those three factors. A, uh, the cost of going to school in terms of outlay. The opportunity cost in terms of spending multiple years where you could be done within a year. And the... Um, I can't speak to every, for every college, but there's a strong probability that the curriculum, the courses, and the teachers who will be teaching you in college don't have much, if any, industry experience. So there's a lot of misinformation out there that um, I fight against all the time on YouTube. For example, information number, misinformation number one about coding. You need a lot of math and code. That's crazy. In most development, 99.999%, there's no math involved. Whoever says you need math is like, they don't, know, they don't know what they're talking about. Another myth that I see coming out of the colleges is that if you wanted to be a great web developer, you should learn C++ first. It's, it's, it's just so dumb. That's like saying if you want to become a great furniture maker, you should learn to plant and grow trees. There's nothing wrong with C++, but by the way, it's just, it's not related. It's just not related. It depends, you know, C++ coding is one thing in web development, which typically is JavaScript, you know, it's always HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and then some other backhand language. It's nothing to do with C++. Would learning C++ help you to learn other programming languages? Sure, but C++ is, it's nothing special about C++ in that way. You. By learning Python, it will help you learn other programming languages. Learning PHP will help you learn other programming languages. Learning Java will help you learn other programming languages. Even learning Ruby will help you to learn other programming languages, although it will affect your dating life in a very negative way, I'm told. So anyway, those are the reasons why Google suggests that you don't go to college if you want to be a coder. There are some exceptions. If you want to get into certain organizations that may require that you have a, a degree, and it may not necessarily require a computer science degree, by the way, but that's an issue to concern yourself with. I'll leave you with this. and something I've been pounding a little bit more recently. To become a professional developer, A, you have to get your fundamentals down. You've got to get some practical experience, B, or number two. And number three, 
you have to become a student of getting a job. You have to study getting a job. That means doing research, market research, seeing where the demand is in your area. Who knows? You may think that uh, C-sharp is the bee's knees. You may think it's the best thing out there, and you look in your, your area where you want to work, and you find the, the, the demand is Java, for example, or it's Python. I don't know. I'm just coming up with examples here. Uh, so you have to know your local market, A. B, you have to go out there and uh, s you know, s learn how to write up your resume to target the prospective employers. Uh, next, you have to go on interviews, get feedback. You're going to mess up interviews. That's okay. You have to become a student of getting a job. Once you get that first job, you know, position yourself on LinkedIn, maybe on Twitter, whatever, whatever. Once you get that first job, once you get that first year of experience, that's it. Then the world's your oyster, my friends. And then you're doing pretty good. You won't have to worry. So anyway, that's it. I hope this makes sense. I'm not dishing on college, dissing on college. Just maybe I'm a little bit, but you know, there. I've this. I went to university with the college. I've gotten a lot out of it, uh, but I did not graduate from university. I dropped out because of my business and health reasons. There's good in everything, but you know, if you're into making money and you want to get a, you want to start coding, I would say, uh, not that I'm biased in any way. I would say you should check out my bootcamp. I hope you found this video useful. If you have any comments or questions, please post them below the video. I'll be happy to address them as best I can. And uh, I invite you to subscribe and all that good stuff. And uh, have a great day. This is a smoothie, by the way. It's called uh, The Decadence Blueberry Base with Bananas. Fantastic. Good for you, too, apparently.